Hey guys, what's up? It's Telvi Hao channel on YouTube. So in today's tutorial on Arduino, we are going to talk about some simple configuration on how to connect this DHT11, the humidity and temperature sensor, attached with this Arduino Uno. And we're gonna configure how it works, and we also gonna test it to see the weather, the 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 temperature right now and also the humidity we are right now so let's get started with the code okay guys so we are now inside the coding section but before we start coding i'm going to guide you to perform some configuration in order to actually enable the data sent back and received to the arduino and displayed into our serial monitor so first of all we have to install the library of the dht11 so we gonna click on Arduino ID and then we go to sketch here on the top bar right here, Mac bar, and then we're going to include library, we're going to manage library. And then we're gonna let it let the library to update and install. So we are almost done here. Alright, we are done. So now inside the search bar, we're gonna type in DHT sensor library. DHT. So here we get we we have the DHT sensor library by Adafruit in this version. So by the time you're watching this video, maybe there are some other new versions, but you don't need to worry about this because every time when you start Arduino IDE, it will automatically update the library for you. So install this library, and now we're going to start coding. Because, as I said, I am using the Arduino IDE, but actually I'm not going to code inside there because I'm using the other software called Sublime Tech. So this Sublime Tech software is the great software for you to actually write, doing the code on every type of language. So let's start coding. So because we are going to interface the Arduino Uno and the DHT11, with, with DHT11 so f the first thing we're going to define is that we're going to in define the library of the DHT11 so we're going to define by type in include DHT.h so this is the header file of the DHT11 DHT sensor library library so after we define this we're going to define the pin of the DHT11 sensor that are going to send the data to the Arduino to input inside the serial monitor. So Arduino will get the data from the DHT11 sensor using this pin. So here we're going to find going, going to define define DHT pin. So we're gonna set it to Arduino pin number two. And then we're going to define the type of the DHT we are using, the DHT sensor, because there are two types of sensor. One is the DHT22, and another one is the DHT11. So in here, in this case, we are using the DHT11. Define DHT type DHT11, and then we're going to bring the DHT pin and DHT type together. We're gonna set it together to get the Arduino to make Arduino identify these two. So we're going to type in DHT and then we type in DHT for the small character and then we type in DHT pin first and then we type in DHT type. Okay, so now we're done the defining process. Next, I mean later on we are going to get into void setup. So as as I said that I am going to display all data inside the serial monitor. So in order to do that, we have to begin. We have to start the board red to set the board red for the Arduino Uno to communicate with the serial monitor on our PC. So in this case, we're going to define with serial dot begin, and then we're going to set it to board red of nine thousand six hundred. But because we already set up some identify for Arduino Uno to 
get to know to get to 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 get to know with the DHT11, but we haven't yet. Try to run it. Try to start the process of sending and obtaining sending data acknowledgement or you know con ask requesting data or up catching the data back from DHT. So we're going to define it right now. So in order to do that, we're going to type in DHT dot begin. So this this line this text will be what this text do is that it, it's going to sending a request byte and then obtaining back from the data so it's just like you asking the Arduino asking the DHT11 to start checking the weather and the humidity and then the one is finished checking it will send back the data to DHT to Arduino you know so this this line of text this line of code is mean something like that and now we finish with the white setup and now we're going into white loop so this is how so this part is where our code gonna work we're gonna do the process so now first of all we would like to delay it before sending any data or is requesting so we're going to delay it for example like 2000 okay something like that for you you can just set it to any kind any amount you want but for me I'm gonna set it to 2000 and then we are going to set some float for example like float H so this float H is going to catching or to obtain the data of the humidity sensor as a float so that it can display it on the serial monitor so I'm going to set float H H stand for humidity and then we're going to set for DHT dot read humidity 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 okay so this part this DHT dot read humidity mean that it will start reading the humidity value and then pass the value into the float H and then we're going to define float T equal to DHT dot read temperature so this code it going to request the the it's going to request for the tem temperature and then it will pass the temperature value into the float T so into T so that this float T will display it inside our serial monitor so later on we're going to set if is and I'm gonna explain this. Wait, it's a uh, is and and then H. Then we're going to do this, and then we're going to say uh, is then T. Okay, and then we're going to set it for serial serial dot print humidity uh, sorry I mean fail to read then we're going to return this going to return okay so this part if is nan h is nan t zero print so this part gonna say like like if it is not a humidity for example if it requests and then the requesting and the data is not a humidity sensor or this this sign this two is mean or or is not the temperature value then print it out and said fail to read because it failed to read and because the value is not an an H value and then in humidity value nor the temperature value so you're gonna print it out like fail to read to alert the user that it is failed to read the data and then when we prompt this message in case it cannot read the data then we going to proceed to print out the data by typing serial dot print gonna say humidity humidity is 
can say serial dot print ln h and then we're going to set it to serial dot print temperature is then we're going to set it again to serial dot print ln t so what it what this says is that it's gonna print inside the serial monitor and set the humidity is and then we're gonna set another serial print which you mean we're going to set in the serial monitor again but not going to the new line we set it at the right side of the humidity is and then print the value of the humidity and this two text is the same as the top but just changing from humidity to temperature so we are finished with our code so I'm gonna save this into the Arduino I'm gonna save it as an Arduino file and we will proceed into the hardware part where the connection gonna start so let's get started to the hardware part okay guys so now I have finished compile and upload the code into this Arduino so we're going to start with the connection part so because the DHT11 in here we have the three pin one is the VCC the Voltec pin and the uh, data pin also the ground pin so this three pin going to connect into the uh, our Arduino Uno so let's start with the Voltec so Voltec in here we can use the 3.3 volt I'm gonna plug it with the 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino Uno and then because the pin 2 because the data pin of the DHT11 going to connect to pin 2 as we define inside the code so we're going to connect it to pin 2 so this is pin number 2 we're gonna connect it to pin number 2 in here okay so this one for the ground pin so we're going to connect it to the ground so I'm going to connect it to the ground okay so we have this LED lights up and we're ready to go so let's get started and see inside the coding process okay so we're going to uh, let me check again okay for no problem so let's stop this and run the serial uh, monitor again so we are we are on the board red of the 960, uh, 9600 and here we can see the temperature is now 30 while the humidity is 57 and, and it continually upload the data every two seconds so this is how you using Arduino you know interfacing with the DHT11 and I hope this video will help for an education purpose also hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe to get even more tutorial on Arduino stuff so thank you for watching and bye for now